now I get many requests for flies and, uh, and I have been asked quite a few times to tie a damselfly an adult damsel not the, the olive damsel that you as you would represent by a nymph or so but the actual adult and this is the adult uh, now you'll get a couple of colours mainly blue uh, the one I see mainly is blue blue and red is the two main colours it is large, I mean there is other species of uh, this is a kind of dragonfly but it's just that there is different sizes uh, there's a large, very extra large one that we see in it I've seen plenty of them the other day there when I was on the river so but anyway this is a damselfly now I'm going to, as I say, it's the first time I've had a it's the first fly, that's actually the first one I've died so I'll be giving this one away in the monthly draw with this fly now I finally found, the main reason as well, I found some uh, foam, 2 mil thick foam it was in a craft shop just not far from here and uh, so this gave me the opportunity as well that was the other reason why I couldn't tie it because I didn't have blue foam so anyway we've got the blue foam now you've seen me making detached bodies and this is just the same thing now I've cut a, a, a length off now this is 2 mil wide or it's, two mil, it's just basically square, 2 mil square but normally what I would do is just uh, square up the end slightly, I just to seal it, this seals it so I'm just going to run the flame through just to seal the, the foam just get a nice shape into it so I keep the square end because there is square at the end so and then what I do is, this is just for the body I'm going to cut down the centre now you could tie it straight on if you wish now I'm just keeping the foam right in the middle with the scissors, cutting the edge and stopping round about maybe a mile or two from the end there now as I say you could put it on straight on and tie it which probably last okay but this makes it last that wee bit longer by doing this and it gives it a shape uh, so what I then do is the pair I've left about a mile or two at the back I just push the point of the needle in this is just a thin needle and what I'm going to do here, I'll put it to the side so basically you can see uh, I've got my black thread, this is just uni thread, an 8 -oh. now you want a good length of waist you keep, you want to keep a hold of that you basically push, take this on, you let it on the top of it, you'll slide it up to where or basically where you've cut to and then you do one do a wee bit straighter now one, two, three and then you basically work your way up you just lift the foam out, make a space for your thread to come through and you take the waist with you because that's holding the, the body together so quite wide turns because the body is uh, it's got a nice segment it's a segmented like shape now I just stretch it out a wee bit so catch it and stretch it a wee bit do a couple of turns and again keeping hold of the waist we come up stretch it out and then increase the, the distance and stretching the foam at the same time it doesn't have to be perfect but as long as you get some sort of shape now you're looking for a, a body length at least about just over an inch so we're going to catch it in again a couple of turns and we keep working the way up now part of the body goes over the hook goes onto the actual hook so just remember that Another wee stretch. This point here, when I'm happy with the length, I just basically whip finish. Now you've all you've seen that I've kept. There's the waist piece, and there's the tying thread. So I will keep them both the same length, because basically the reason I do that, obviously, to get a shape as well. But at the same time, I'm doing it uh, so that it's holding the, the foam and making it much stronger, and that's why it lasts far longer. So once you slip it off, you get a nice enough body. So it's just a matter of keeping a hold. Put your finger finger underneath, getting the hold, slide it, slide it off. Now these here you can slightly tighten up, but you don't want it to pull it too tight. So there's your there's your body in the and this is ready to tie on the hook as well. So now to the, we'll go into the next stage. So now we're ready to tie the fly itself after forming the body. Now Hook choice is up to yourself. Now I'm using this one here. Now this is a full mill hook. Uh, it's a size 10 as you can see. 
it's uh, what they call a short shank special in black nickel. Now black will suit the fly because the damsel's kind of black and blue type colour so it helps to give that impression. Uh, but you could use any hook. A curved hook is uh, like a grub shape hook, like in a medium to light wire would work. Uh, I like a good gape, that's on, especially on a detached bodied uh, fly. Uh, I find it hooks much better. But anyway, I'm using the size 10. Now, the, ga the gape's a 10, so the equivalent to a size 10, and the shank's equivalent to a size 12. Now, I'm sticking to the same thread that I tied the, the body with. This is the uni thread in 8 black. Now, I have waxed the thread, so we start at the eye. I'm just going to run the thread to the point of the hook. And remove the paste. So, we're in. whenever I let the thread go, it should be in line with the point. So we have our body here, that we formed earlier. Now I said to you about tying in, we're going to tie in the waist end and the tying thread which formed the body, because that obviously protects it. So basically I set it on, and I put the foam basically either side of the shank of the hook. So you look at there, because that, that is part of the body. Just have a couple of test turns, just to catch it, just get the length that you would like. Uh, where you want it to sit before you tighten up. If I'm happy with something, I'll just still do, mate. That's fine. So as you see, I've tied in the the waist end now. Make sure it's tied in. Tie it straight onto the hook shank here. Now I'm going to trim these away. A slight, a straight, a straight cut at the top. Give you a tapered cut. And then we tie these in. Just pinch it with your fingers, if, so you can catch the the foam. Now this is just, as I say, just over an inch long or so. And you see how the foam just hugs the, the, sh the shank so it sits quite low, so you've either side. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm, as I say, this this is the second one, the first one. I'm going to tie the, the wings in first. Now the wings are just cock hackles, white cock hackles. Uh, I'm going to just do it slightly, uh, slightly longer than the body, because there are big wings on the damsel. So there's your length, so I'm just going to make a space for the, the thread. So I'm laying one top of the other, just set it on the top. So I'm going to make sure the thread's waxed. Now, at this point you can always go back if you don't feel they're sitting right. Now I'm just opening them out, so I've just tied them straight on the top, making a V into it, and then encouraging that V to stay, so I just then tie up it up to the foam. And then if I'm happy with it, make sure you've got plenty of tight and well. So I've got plenty of stem there. Any of these fibres, I just draw them back with my fingers. Tidy this up. Now we're ready for the legs. Now what I'm going to be using is the pheasant tail. Well, we're going to use both a hackle and I'm going to use pre-knotted pheasant tail legs. Now these are Two black, they're dyed black, pheasant tail fibres, knotted, just to get the thickness. Now I'm going to put two on, just at this point here, just so they're sitting. I'm going to grab another two, now I'm not going to put that, I'm just going to stick with, so you could put half a dozen or so on, uh, three either side, but these are double knotted, so they're basically there's eight fibres there, so I'm going to put two either side. And don't be shy with these because you want to put them on so they're, they're doing support, supporting the, the actual damsel by putting them either side. I'm just manipulating them a wee bit to get them to sit the way I want. You could put the thread between them just to, to help them or keep them apart. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So you can see the leggy type way of working. I'm happy with that. Trim these away. Just wax my thread here. Now I'm going to put foam on the back. So I've got the same piece of foam, same width, same 2 mil. It's going to catch it on the top the way back up. Right up towards the legs. See where we are. Looks fine. Hackle, I'm going to be using the dyed badger. This is dyed blue. Yeah, let's get the black centre. 
just a cock hackle. You see, this is just a, a whoever tied a damsel, I may have done it, I may have tied a damsel, uh, an adult, uh, but it's that long ago I forgot. So, this is just a quick tying, as I say, it's just a request. Now, for the body, you could put some black seals for or blue or something because the black blue mix would work. Uh, you've got the badger hackle, you've got the black centre. But I'm going to put this blue, this is blue diamond bright. It's from. I don't know who does the diamond bright now. Uh, so, anyway, I think it's Wopsy actually. But anyway, it's a UV blue. It's going to lightly dump it on, tidy things up, work my way down towards the eye. So you could use whatever fur you have or anything, or you could just use the, the black thread. And then I'm just going to wind the hackle through the dubbing. Obviously this is going to help float the fly. The length could be as long or short as you like, just using up the hackle. Tie off in front. Turn this away. Wax on my thread, just draw back any fibre going forward to stick it back. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring down, just hold the legs and that out of the way, with are using the Velcro either side. Some of the, the blue as well will, will mix into the, the, the light bright, or the diamond bright, sorry. And once you're happy you can then bring over your foam. Just get a wee stretch. One, two, three, five or so. Some turns in front. Keeping it nice and tight. You can quite finish. Whoops. And there we are. Turn over your thread. And I'm just going to varnish this first before I cut away the foam. Take it out of the way, just a wee bit of varnish in there. Just push the underneath here. And then just trim, just across, just over the top, just to leave a wee tiny bit. And there we go. There's your damsel. Uh, as I say, it's just a, it's just tied. It's just a request. You can get some ideas from it. I mean, if you, you find that's ideal, give it a go. Let me know how you got on, uh, and I hope this uh, helps you tie your next or tie an adult damsel. Anyway, it certainly looks like a damsel to me. Uh, it looks like it would represent, and they do. There's the do fish go for them uh, when you've got plenty on the water. They do end up eventually coming on and uh, the fish will certainly go for them. And they do, fish jump out the water and grab these. Uh, I've seen plenty of footage of the fish doing that. So anyway, there we are, that's your adult damsel. So I hope you enjoyed that, and again, thank you for watching, and until next time.